Hey artists, this is the talk that we need to have because I have a big problem with AI art videos right now. Every single time I watch an AI art video, there's a huge underlying theme of just rampant fear mongering. And I'm not okay with that. And I don't think it's good to propagate that either. And that's why the message in this video is so special and needs to be heard by as many artists as possible. Because there is hope for your art, there is a future for it, and this is why you should not give up your art making. If the emergence of AI art has got you feeling really anxious and depressed about your potential future in AI art, or if you're combating people that are telling you that AI art is just gonna take over everything, who is giving you that advice? You shouldn't really listen to any messenger that's not credible. Artists, don't listen to people that are non-artists. Let me just put this in another context for you. Would you listen to wealth advice from someone that's broke? Would you listen to health or diet advice from somebody that's in terrible health? Every single person that is in an art field actually getting paid money to make art, they're not saying that it's all over for artists. In fact, they say the complete opposite of that. So don't listen to a poor messenger that is completely uninformed, that has uncredible, unsubstantiated advice for you, friend. It's just not gonna get you anywhere. Now let's also talk about this concern. Apparently we're not allowed to talk anymore about art or encourage artists at all without the word copium being thrown around. Now, if you're like me and you've never even heard that word before, here's what it means. It's basically a state of delirium used to cope with loss. Has anyone, has anyone lost anything? Anyone check the art loss and found? Because I don't really understand what's been lost. People are going to make art, whether or not AI art came out or it didn't, people are always going to make art because they always have, because they've been compelled to. If you have a loved one, if I walk up to you and say, well, they suck, they're a terrible human being. Do you look at them and go, oh my God, you're right. They are awful, ew, get away from me. No, you appreciate them and you're passionate about them being in your life. Art is another member of your life, is another member of your family. I want you to personify it as such like that. Nobody has the right to tell you that you are not allowed to be passionate about something or pursue something simply because everybody else is going another way. In fact, if everybody else is going another way, you shouldn't go that way, friend, because that's where mediocrity lies. And all of this, by the way, gets people all round up for this. One of the number one things that AR companies want us to feel is inferior to their product. Because the more that you feel inferior, that's their marketing strategy, okay? They want you to recognize the gap between what it promises that it can do, which it can't, by the way, and what you can do is supposed to be so great and so insurmountable that you have to go in and buy their product. My friend, that is not a way to operate through life. You cannot operate through the lens of scarcity. Now, on the flip side to that, there's a lot of people that are rejecting this and people are fighting amongst each other. You got the, the artists and the AI artists on one side and they just go after it like a couple of angry cats, right? So all of this though, it's a big problem because it distracts from what they're doing, which is illegal and unethical practices. And before anybody fights with me down in the comments below about this, I just wanna ask you, what artist consented to having their artwork used as fodder to, in order to create the machine learning of any AI art algorithm? What artist out there was paid and compensated for their time? This, my friends, is an unethical practice in any research. Trust me, I know I'm a doctoral student and I conduct a lot of research. That's what they want to distract us away from. And that's where the focus needs to be. And then all of this has got so many people all wrapped up that this is happening. Artists, please don't be influenced by AR bros and the toxic community that they are producing. It's just not right. Like, have you not noticed that you can't watch a single video about AI art without somebody down below leaving nasty comments, telling them that they're inferior, that they're never gonna make it, that all art is going to be made by machines. I postulate that these are what I deem to be the worst stewards of any supposed artistic medium ever to come about. I'm gonna promise you this, friends. When photographers first came on the scene, they didn't walk around strutting their stuff like some proud peacock telling everybody else how inferior they were. My friends, you need to not listen to these skeptical influences simply because of this. Anything that you listen to that disempowers you is never going to bring you to a place of happiness. It's going to bring you to a place of mediocrity. It's going to bring you to a place of acceptance of something that is below your standard. And you don't want that, okay? I know artists, I've been around artists my whole life. We are incredibly passionate people and we love what we do, which is why you absolutely cannot forget about this. Why do you even make art in the first place? Simple. 
It's because you're passionate for it, because it's part of your value system, because it means something to you, right? It's because of all of that that it's worth pursuing because it is the most amazing human endeavor ever because it is literally an expression of your humanity because it is the summation of all of your lived life experiences because it is an incredible and intense sense of gratification that you get every single time that you bust out something amazing. That's why you make art. Being creative, being imaginative, this is part of who we are as people, as human beings. And because of that, you should not, nor should you ever give that up simply because somebody is coming into your sphere, into your bubble, telling you that it's not worthwhile. What do they know about you? This much. Because this is a part of you that you feel really passionate about, that alone seals the deal for me, y'all. You need to keep making artwork. And by the way, y'all, don't forget about this either. You can't take away the fact that your art is a unique representation of you and you alone. The thing that is really wrong about the AR community is that they see art as a skill. That's essentially the same thing as screwing in a light bulb. It's not difficult to do. Art is not a skill. Art is an intelligence. And I know this because I've done a lot of research based on a friend, so trust me as I tell you this. You should pursue what you want because you have a unique vision, you have a unique voice, and because of that, that's gonna set you apart. That's what is going to make you stand out against the mediocrity of what is being output by AI art. It's worthwhile for you to pursue your efforts, to keep practicing, to better yourself, and to be a specialist in what you're doing because only you can do it. And here's another really huge thing that AI art will never be able to encompass. AI art is largely very mediocre because it will never be able to contain one major element and that is a narrative. The amount of nuanceical elements that are input into a single artwork is what makes it exceptional. It's what makes people want to come back. It's what makes people believe in you and follow you and like you. And it's going to gain you notoriety. Because when you think about the most amazing stories, the most amazing animes or TV shows or movies that you've watched, art is literally a medium for you to transcribe your life experience and to share that with other people. And that is something that a machine is completely and utterly and will always be incapable of doing and for that narrative element alone friend you should definitely pursue your artistry now let's pause for a second though because you really need to heavily consider this can you imagine your life without art can you imagine what you're doing what does your daily life look like just project into the future right now five years from right now what are you doing how are you feeling because that honestly that's going to become your reality friend if you give up something you love, the pursuit of something that you're really passionate about, then you're going to fall into pits of despair worse than how you may already feel right now because of one simple fact, you gave up your passion. What I don't agree with is that a lot of people right now are feeling like they should give up their human art making and trade it in for machine art making. Can I just ask you this? What companies are currently hiring AI artists? Like, in other words, companies that are actually looking for it because just to check myself here, I went ahead on the art station and I looked through all of the job postings. No one's asking for this. So why in the world would you wanna go over to a company that's not even about art, it's about tech and business? Even if art is not going to be something that is going to be a career field for you, that doesn't mean that you should give up your human pursuit of making your artwork. Now, if you don't wanna to listen to this, then here's what you're gonna fall into. There's rampant nihilism all around the fear mongering surrounding AR. And I don't want you to fall into that trap, friend, because you could really easily fall into the doom and gloom of there's no future and you're never gonna make anything with your art. And just to be honest with you, AI art, you're nothing special. This was, it has always been the feelings of artists long before AI ever came out, okay? I'm speaking personally on this note too. I had my entire family against me being an artist. Everybody always used to tell me, nope, you'll never be anything. You'll be poor, you'll be on the streets, living in your mom's basement for your entire life. If you really focus on being a specialist, if you focus on doing things that most people will not do, you will stand out, you will be unique. You'll be able to make something of yourself. Will that be easy? No. Life is about making choices and making decisions that are going to bring you to the happiest level of existence, to the most fulfilled level of satisfaction that you could possibly attain. If you reject that, if you give in to the nihilism, if you give in to the doom and gloom surrounding AI art, then you're going to be miserable. Now here's the elephant in the room that we have to address about this. There are so many lies about AI art that are fueling and propagating this fear mongering machine and I'm just not okay with it, which is why I made an entire video about it, which you can watch right here.